you can use contactless payments on all public transport, everywhere in the Netherlands. You don't have to sign up or register, simply use Apple Pay, Google Pay or your contactless bank card. This video shows a smartwatch, but at the same way you can also use your smartphone, debit card or credit card. See the description for supported cards. All Dutch public transport information is available in Google and Apple Maps, you can surely use that. But the official NS app often gives the best travel advice and also shows prices. You can also plan local journeys with buses and trams in the NS app. At each station there's at least one digital screen, showing the live departure times, also in English. Ticket prices are fixed and seats cannot be reserved, so there's no need to buy tickets in advance. Let's get started on traveling by train. You can use contactless payments on all domestic trains. It is not necessary to download an app or use the ticket machine. You can directly head to the gates at the entrance. There, simply place your device or bank card in front of the reader, and the gate will open. Next, enjoy the ride and travel to your destination. When arriving at your destination, or when you transfer to another transport provider, you check out. Checking out works the same way as checking in. Hold your device or card in front of the reader, and the gates will open to let you out. If you are traveling in a group, each traveler must use their own individual separate payment method. Traveling by metro works exactly the same as traveling by train, also at metro stations you will find ticket barriers, where you can check in and check out. Finally, at some smaller stations, you will find poles instead of gates, but the principle remains the same, always check in and check out. When you travel by bus or tram, the readers are located inside the vehicle. Notice the sticker on the door. Some trams and most buses have dedicated entry and exit doors. Messages on the readers are shown in English too. For example, when reading fails the first time, the display will show, try again. Always check in when you enter the vehicle. When you leave the vehicle, don't forget to check out. Even if you transfer to another tram or bus, you must always check out when you leave the vehicle. There are buttons on or next to the doors. Press these to open the doors. Traveling by bus works the same as traveling by tram. Always check in and check out. When using contactless payments, you travel second class, full price. On the next day, the costs will be shown in your bank account transfer overview. If you are using a foreign bank card, notice that your bank may add transaction fees. In the description in your bank transfer statement there's a code, which you can enter on the OVPay website to get all travel details. This is also useful if you need an invoice. Also on this page, you can make corrections, should you have forgotten to check out. You can find the link in the description below. There are three points of attention to address. Firstly, it is important that you always check in and check out at the same way. You must use exactly the same device for both checking in and out. If you use a bank card, be sure to remove it from your wallet and offer it separately, so that you know for sure the system uses the right card. Secondly, there are two train types that require a supplement, ICE International and Intercity Direct. For domestic journeys, only the latter is of use, since it runs on the high-speed line. It is clearly indicated on the platform screens that a supplement is required between Schiphol and Rotterdam. If you use the Intercity Direct train here, you can add the supplement by using the red card reader at the platform. The supplement is only needed for the high-speed stretch between Schiphol and Rotterdam, not for traveling from Amsterdam to Schiphol Airport. Other inner cities and night trains have no supplement, and use the regular fare. Finally, there are some stations which feature multiple train transport providers, mostly serving regional lines in the more eastern part of the country. At these stations, be sure to check in and out at the gate of the right provider. The logos match the one shown on the departure screen. If you transfer to another transport provider, you must check in and out. There are polls on the platform to do so. The NS app clearly shows this information in the travel advice, and you can always ask for help using the information button. All trains in the western part of the country are operated by NS, but there are two stations where trains and metro share the same area, Amsterdam Amstel and Duvendrecht. While this does provide cross-platform transfer between train and metro, it means you have to pay attention on which ticket gate you use. The signs already try to direct you to the correct gates for checking in. Here at the station of Amsterdam Amstel, 
the gates for metro travel are on the left, right besides that, the gates for train travel are on the right, this is indicated by the signs above the gates, at these two stations, be sure to check in and out at the correct gate for either metro or train. And that sums up how to travel using contactless payments on all public transport, everywhere in the Netherlands. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. In the description, you can find some useful links to the apps and websites mentioned in this video.